Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Since last time I've made my way over here to Baskar Village. Oh, got a little scene right here. Yeah, no kidding. Oh yeah, I remember that. The shaman uh, told us about that way back when we first came here. Okay, so is it the Guardian's will that the sky get eaten away? Maybe it was a warning. Yeah, so that pretty much does tell me that it is indeed a warning by them, letting us know, hey, you know, you gotta stop this. Oh. Huh. What can we do about all this, though? Do you know a way to stop it? Um, they were trying to tell you that the sky was getting gnawed away, Ashley. Like, what more do you need? <laughs> well, actually, what we need is the solution. Could the Guardians tell us that? Oh. Oh, yeah, you know, the Guardians do sustain life here on Fogaya, and now that their Fogaya is getting eaten away, the Guardians' power is gonna be diminished, of course. Oh, what are you gonna do, Tim? Oh, that is true, you are the pillar. Maybe they could help you out somehow? Oh, well, great. So, what do you have in mind, Chief? The Sealed Sanctuary of the Guardians. Well, where's that? Oh. How do you know that? You just said that the Guardians' power is getting eaten away. The sky is literally falling. But you know that this Sealed Sanctuary has enough power? Yeah. Oh, the Sacrificial Altar. Great. Lovely. So, is Tim gonna die? <laughs> oh my god, she has a frowny face! <laughs> oh, Lilka, you crack me up. Oh, I love it! <laughs> oh, this translation, I swear. Well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and if it takes Tim sacrificing his life to save all the lives of Felgaia, it's kind of a small price to pay, if you ask me. Well, I mean, I don't want you to get sacrificed either. You're like a really good party member. So that would really suck if we lost you. Be stuck back with Brad. Ugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, just ask a couple of questions. It'll be fine. Oh. Well, it makes you a little bit important, and it gives you all these powers and everything, so... I mean, it's not so bad, is it? Oh, not a reason for fighting or living, but a reason for dying. That's just morbid. Oh. Okay. Aw. What's that? What are you talking about, Puka? Yeah... Um, okay... <laughs> oh, okay, so Puka's kind of upset because Tim's able to grow and mature and find himself, and Puka isn't? Puka just exists? Oh, poor Puka. You okay? Oh. Well, maybe there is, like, a mission for you, too. You just haven't found it yet, Puka. Oh. Okay, so you don't know where it is. Like, wouldn't you think that the chief 
of all people, would know exactly where it is? I mean, he knew that Tim had to sacrifice himself before, you know, he even became the pillar. So, apparently they do this sacrificing at the sacrificial altar, so shouldn't the chief know where that is? Hasn't this happened before? I mean, if the chief doesn't know, who in the world possibly would know? Oh. Huh. Well, maybe we can cheat fate. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Maybe Colette has a uh, idea of where this altar is. I mean, she was going to be the pillar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So even the Dream Seer doesn't even know what the issue is. Wow, that's pretty rough. Oh, okay, in the mountains of Urartu, far away from the eyes of the world. Oh, the Guardian Lords. So not just the regular Guardians, like the higher Guardians are there? Huh. Could you tell us where it is? That would be lovely. Oh, I guess not. Oh. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I was like, what's going on here? But no, that was uh, an item shop that I really don't need. Okay, let's see if any of these other villagers can uh, help us out about this. Figure out where this place is. Hey there, Colette. What's going on? And again, the game is kind of making the dialogue go by itself right here. I'm not controlling it. Oh, yeah. And then she says the same thing over and over and over again. Ah, poor girl. So you don't know where it is either? We just have that clue about the mountains of Urartu. Hmm, what about you? Get over here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, sure, I'll reload. Thanks. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, oh, hey there. Yeah, sure. Okay, so all we know is that it's by the mountains of Urartu, so let's get on out of here. So, where are these uh, Urartu mountains? Well, Good question! Yeah, you have to teleport to Guild Galad to get to these mountains. Shockingly enough. So, yeah. I guess it's somewhat close to Baskar Village. I guess. It's just strange. Like, and you don't even get, like, the yellow text that really tells you, hey, you know, this is, like, the real place that you have to go to. It's just odd. I don't know, but anyway, what you have to do is uh, get on the hovercraft and then go around Guild Galad down here. Yeah, down this other side, right over there. There we are. You know what, let's put on the uh, the big world map here so I can really see um, exactly where I am going. Uh, there should be two beaches that we're going to cross here on the right-hand side. Do you want to ignore completely the first beach that you come across? That one right there. I hate controls on the hovercraft. I'm always, like, moving all over the place. Like, I can't just stay still. It's really obnoxious. And then you want to go inside the uh, second beach that you come across, which is right here, cleverly hidden. How you're ever supposed to figure this out without a guide is just beyond me. Like, you'd have to go across the entire world and just look for a green dot um, on Cannon's eyeball. But that's not the worst of it. This place has some just asininely hard puzzles. They're just absolutely ridiculous! Could I stop doing that for like one second? That would just be lovely! Ugh, this place pisses me off. Okay, so first things first, hit that little switch right there with the hurl knife, and uh, make the little floor appear. Then continue on, and we have another barrier, but not another switch. So what do you have to do? Come over here and kick off this little, um, I don't know, guardian cap thing? And then use our hurl knife again to open up that door. Yeah, this place is ridiculous. This is the least of the puzzles in here. It is just insane. Okay, next thing. You think that there's something right here? Um, well, let me tell you, 
There is. You see that door down there? Yeah. How are you ever supposed to find that door? Like, there's nothing that tells you that it's there either. Like, it's just the most insane stuff in here. Like, it's it, it, it's that oh my guide stuff that you hear about in like TV tropes. It's just really, really bad, the puzzles in here. Oh, Stone Drago's wings. I guess we need to get that Stone Drago for some reason? I don't know. Wait in the position directly across from the four eyes. Hmm. Well, if I know anything about the zodiac signs, I know the Gemini is twins, so I guess they have four eyes. And I would imagine directly across from four eyes would be here? Or would it be here? Or would it be here? Well, let me tell you, all three of those are wrong. It's actually here. Yeah. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but apparently that is directly across on the four eyes. Yeah. Like, the puzzles in this place are just out of this world. I've never seen anything like it. It's just awful. Then we get the stone dragon. I don't know why. We have to get the stone dragon, but it's there, I guess. It's something. Uh, ooh, get a sunbird hat. You know what? Actually, I need to go ahead and equip that on him. And we got that main goosh the last time, so let me go ahead and equip that on cannon as well. Let's go ahead and hit the switch. And then we have more bastard puzzles. As you can see, there's a little small place right there that you can jump down to, but that's not what you want to do. What you want to do is move these blocks right here that really don't look like they can be moved. They actually look like the background of this place. And then push it onto the little floor tile that you can also barely see. Like, I remember the first time in here, um, I played this game when I was in high school. The internet wasn't really a big thing back then. Like, it took me hours to get through this place. Hours of just frustration. Especially finishing everything and then having to go back and find where that stupid stone Drago is. I don't know how they couldn't fit drag in in there, but hey, whatever. Now we need to go through here and guess what? Look, there's a hidden door down there. How are you supposed to figure out that? I mean, it's not the hardest hidden door that I've seen so far, but it's still, like, pretty ridiculous. Oh, what's the puzzle that we have in here? I can't wait for this. The path is higher than the evil eye. It severs everything a lower chin button starts a fire. Leaping flame, flow of time, splitting up with the eye's pupil. Okay. Well, let me tell you what you have to do. We have four statues here. Uh, the, the two on the left and the right, and then the one on top of me are kind of lower. This one over here is higher. It's on a block. So we have to somehow... Um, get fire onto that higher uh, pupil, I guess. So what you gotta do is jump on here and then jump down onto here, move over to Lilka, use Lilka's fire rod, and actually, you know, hit the thing. There we go! To open up that door. Now that puzzle isn't too terrible. It's that stone drago puzzle that really gets me. Um, is that the way I came in? I think I came in this way, I'm pretty sure. Where did I come in at? No, not this way. Okay, so I was right the first time. <laughs> yeah, it is this way. There we are. And get some treasure. Now we get a stone lion. And there's, okay, there's nothing telling you, hey, you need to get, you know, all three of these um, stone statues or anything to get on through here. It's just like something that you have kind of, just kind of have to like figure out on your own. It's just really dense. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. And I actually was gonna stop it there, but I feel like these puzzles are just so nightmarish that I just wanna keep all the puzzle solving within the same episode. We're not going to finish this place up today, but we will finish up all the puzzle solving uh, that we can do today. Just, it's just ridiculous. It really is. And I feel like it's just, um, Good for you guys to see all the puzzles in one episode rather than um, having all the nightmares split apart between two episodes. It's just better. Take my word for it. It just is. Get on down here. Get a mirror feather. Nice. 
I have to equip that on Tim whenever I get a chance. And now we have to kind of go back through here um, and continue on this high road. So hit the switch over here to kind of reset the puzzle. There we are. And again, this puzzle, not so terrible. This one's actually somewhat intuitive. Whoa! Yeah, you can actually, you know, figure this one out on your own. There aren't any guide moments. The next guide moment is coming up soon, though. Worry not, viewers. So down here we have a little switch there on the floor. You can't just step on it to use the switch. You actually have to jump down onto the switch, and then it will activate. If you tried to step on it, it would say something like, oh, you know, this switch isn't moving. You really need to trample this one really hard. Um, so that's your clue to, you know, jump down on it. Now here, what you want to do is head on down into this area with the statue. And if you notice, there's some blocks right there that are blocking an area. Again, they look like the background. How you're supposed to know to kick down those blocks with Brad is beyond me. I have no idea how you're supposed to figure that one out, or how you're supposed to even see that it's there. It's just terrible. Okay, let's look at the clue for this one, the most nonsensical clue of them all. Turns to stone, these form a dam, but don't block the flow of time. Submerge the fierce will, sink the stone. Okay. Don't be misled, don't oppose. Okay, so basically what it's saying is don't worry about these colors over here. Those are meaningless. What you do need to do is sink the stones, create a dam. Um, basically push all of the stone statues into the water. There's only three statues, there's four bodies of water. It does not matter which statue you push into the respective bottles of bodies of water. Um, you can probably push them all to the exact same um, water, it really doesn't matter. Just sink them all and you'll be fine. Kind of reminds me of something from Dragon Warrior 3. Well, that's a more complex puzzle, if you ask me. Okay, perfect. Sweet. Okay, so moving right along in here. And what do we have? What do we have? The Stone God. Woohoo! Well, we've gotten all three stone statues, so now we can complete the Sacrificial Altar, which we will do next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.